hot mess. Just a hot mess has been happening. So. everybody, welcome back to my channel. Sorry it's been so long. It's been a hot minute. I have been doing so many things, it is not even funny. I am a realtor now, like, who knew, right? Who knew? Um, Amelia is going to Mother's Day out, and that is a win. So, I'm excited about that. The boys are finally back in school. <sighs> hot mess. Just a hot mess has been happening. So, yeah i just wanted to get on here and talk to you guys i know it's been so long since i've been on here and some of you might want to know what's going on some of you might not want to know whatever so let's see where to start where should we start i don't even remember the last time we talked i don't even remember what we talked about i don't hmm So yeah, I guess we'll just start with I'm a realtor now. So <laughs> during COVID, as if, you know, teaching children and having a baby wasn't enough, I decided that now I want to be a realtor. So I went to real estate school and thought it was going to be like an easy breezy like couple weeks and I would be done with it. And eh, that's not, a, not what happened at all. Not even a little bit. So I started doing classes and it took me a minute just to do the classes right but then when i wanted to do the test who knew you would have to wait so long to take a daggum test i had no idea every board that i was on was like oh it'll be a couple of weeks it'll do this they were booking like a month and a half out y'all so i found the test that was um it was probably like an hour and a half away from Charleston. So I just took it. I woke up early morning. I did it. I passed on the first try, which y'all know me. I am not a good test taker. I have test anxiety and like no other. Like I can, even during school, like I could study, 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 and then still not pass. <laughs> so I was very anxiety stricken about taking this daggum test, but I passed. And here I am. So, yeah, it's definitely crazy. I've been wanting to do it for a really long time, and I finally just did it. So, I've done sales before, so this isn't like really new to me, but it kind of is. Now, what else is new? I don't know. I'm pretty boring these days. I don't have anything fun. Oh, we just had Caden's birthday party last weekend. And so he had a fishing party and all went well. The weather was really nice. He caught some nice fish. Yada, yada, yada. My house was full of 11-year-old boys and under. So, <laughs> but I made it past it. I'm here now to tell you the story. So, yeah, y'all, I'm just super boring. Um, so I know a lot of you have come on to this page because you came about when we did IVF with Amelia and a lot of you like to touch base on that because you were with me before all IVF and everything happened. So I'll touch base on Amelia. Amelia is almost two and she is a sassy, sassy chick. Like the other day, Rodney... <laughs> I was talking and I, I was just frustrated and I go, where does this child get her su like such strong will or something like that from, right? And my husband literally looks at me and he was like, gee, I wonder. And she's just sassy as ever. She keeps up with her brothers like this, like she doesn't miss a beat. Um, and she joins, like she fits in right along with them. She sometimes likes going to Mother's Day out. Sometimes she doesn't like going to Mother's Day out. Um, but it's hit or miss. I think it's just she's two and some days she's going to like it. Some days she's not going to like it. Um, Mason. Mason. I think I told you guys this before. But Mason is legit a middle child. Like legit. Like stereotypical like 
Jan Brady, like, middle child. He is always Caden, 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 Caden gets to do this, Caden gets to do this, Amelia does this, Amelia. And it's just, it's actually been really hard to, like, find something that he really likes to do that we can all do during COVID. So he's just a very little picky human and he talks all the time. Like he always has a story for something. So <laughs> he will lay down at night and he'll say, mom, 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 guess what this did? After I've asked him like a hundred times, like, what did you do today? I don't know. And and when we go to bed, he has like a thousand stories. Um, so yeah, like I just don't really have a whole lot, you guys. I'm sorry. I just wanted to touch base with everybody just to let you know that I'm actually still alive and that we're just keeping on over here. And yeah, not much has changed. But I did want to get on here and say if you are moving to Charleston or you know somebody that's moving to Charleston, please give them my information. I would love to work with them on finding their new low country house. And yeah. Sorry this was so short, you guys, but I mean, I guess no news is good news, right? Anyways, I'll let you guys go. I'll try to update you. I know I say this every time. I'll try to update you more. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have more real estate things going on. Maybe I'll film Amelia. Just this camera has legit been sitting in my room for the past like 10 months. So I apologize. Don't hate me. All right. I will see you guys another time. Bye everybody. Bye.